Oh my word, guys. This came in the mail. I'm so excited. I have been looking at these on Amazon for months, debating on whether or not I should get these and whether or not I should get the small like 15 set or whatever or the large set. But I felt like I would have fear of missing out on all the other colors if I didn't just bite the bullet and get the big set. I have never even used Posca pens. <laughs> So we're gonna try them. We're gonna open this up and swatch it and then draw with them for the first time. Isn't that exciting? Also, this is Dorvin's sweater, my husband. So that's that's why it's huge <laughs> and baggy, if you were wondering. Ooh, it comes with this little case. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. The inside of me is slowly dying, guys. Oh my word. Look at this, look at this, look at this. They wrapped each one individually. <sighs> I hate when art supplies are all wrapped individually like this. It takes forever to open them and I'm so excited. I wanna use them. Ah, look how cute these are. Oh my goodness, look at this. Okay, let's just open one of them. Let's open one. Coincidentally, this is my absolute favorite color, so. How fitting that I drew this one out of the bag first. I just struggled for like five legit minutes to open this, but here we go. So this is the tip and you obviously have to activate it by pressing down. Okay, I am gonna draw with these, but first I have to open a ton of markers and get the plastic off. This is gonna be quite the process. Ooh, this purple one is so cute, guys. Let's have a swatch party. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Alrighty guys, I got a little carried away when I made this video and you're gonna see a couple drawings. So bear with me, hold on, we're in for a fun ride. But the first thing we're doing is swatching everything because obviously when you use a medium for the first time, you wanna know how it works before you just dive into something. I mean, I do. And I'll be honest, when I swatched all these Posca pens, they felt like pretty much any other paint marker pen that I've tried. They're pretty similar, but I was very pleased with all of the colors and I especially liked the pinks because I use a lot of like pinks and greens in my artwork. So it was nice to have a variety. I was kind of afraid that I wouldn't like them, but I did. The next thing, we are drawing a moth. I really like drawing butterflies and moths. I don't know why I'm going through this phase, but I'm enjoying every moment of it. So I decided, you know what? My first drawing should be a moth. Let's do this. So I used those beautiful pink colors on the wings and I was just having the time of my life over here, enjoying every moment. <laughs> and it felt like I was honestly doing a gouache painting but the only difference was like, this was a marker, not a paintbrush. And the marker tips aren't like the most detailed tips. Um, I would say you could do more detail with a Copic marker for sure. Cause the nib is like a brush nib. This is more of like a bullet nib, but that's okay. It didn't really bother me actually. I think the nib is very fitting for like the kind of artwork you would do with a paint pen and I feel like you kind of need a sturdier nib for that anyway so I can't complain about that but it would be really cool if there was another nib on the other side that was like a fine point if they could make that work yo Posca if you're watching this video that'd be cool like a double-ended Posca pen whoa wicked I did all these pink little polka dots on the wings. I did those giant teal dots on the wings. I did more dots on the wings. I don't even know. Somebody count the dots on these wings. How many are there? <laughs> oh, and there's dots in the middle of the body. Well, would you look at that? We have a theme going here. Okay, guys, another thing I have to talk about is this gold Posca pen. And there's a silver one, and by the way, there is a white one, and the white shows up great, but you can't see it on the swatch page, so don't give me hash on that. Anyway, the gold and silver are amazing. They're super reflective, and I was so happy I put gold on the wings of this moth. <laughs> 
And the white shows up amazingly. So I need to tell my mom that because she's looking for a white paint pen. So, hey mom, if you happen to watch this video, you should use this one. <laughs> my mom like decorates signs for a living. So she uses a lot of paint pens. So, hmm, did I just find a birthday present for her? Maybe. Or Mother's Day comes before that. So, yeah, I might do that. That'd be great. Oh, I'm going to do that. I'm so pumped now. I definitely think I would give these like mm, a 4.5 out of 5 stars. And the reason why I would say that is, yeah, I just wish that there would be a finer point nib on the other end. But I'm just being greedy. I mean, I knew there was only one end and I'm not going to complain. But also, it would be so cool if they had like a hundred colors. But no, really, these things are amazing. So aside from me just being crazy, it could be five stars. I'm okay with that. The next thing I drew was a person. I wanted to see how my style would change if I were to illustrate a person. So that's what I did. And I was very impressed with how this went. You know, the skin tone thing kind of scared me a little bit, but... There is a skin cone, blah, 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 a skin tone, not a skin cone. What would that be? A skin tone for Caucasians and a skin tone for darker skin. And I think there's even one that would go really well for like Asian skin. So perfect. I'm very happy with that. And I can't wait to play around with it because yeah, I think I'm going to get back into drawing people this year. I'm going to push myself with anatomy and we're going to roll with this. We're going to improve. This sketchbook has already been like great for practicing certain things. So can't wait to tease you guys with a tour later, but that's all you get right now. Another thing I really enjoyed with these paint pens are the fact that you can't quite blend with them. So instead you have to rely on other methods for shading such as like solid block shading or stippling or hatching. And you can even make up like other things if you want. And it looks so cool. It kind of has this pop art feel to it in a way, slash making you be illustrative. <laughs> it's so cool. I really enjoyed it. I would say these are pretty high quality paint pens because they activated very quickly when I was swatching them and once I got to drawing and I colored in large areas, the paint kept flowing. I didn't really have to push down to reactivate it, which is a relief because I have used some other ones in the past where you like kind of have to do that. And then uh, sometimes the pen just floods on your paper. So then you have to activate it on other sheets of paper and it's a mess. But I didn't have to worry about that with these. They're very well made and yeah, I was really happy with that. Aside from that, I pretty much tried to stay in my fashion zone here. I did my little Peter Pan collar. That was fun. The hair was really fun. I have been digging big hair lately. So who knows what kind of hair I will draw this year in my sketchbook and in big projects. My goal this year is to try a lot of new art supplies and just kind of hop out of my comfort zone as far as media goes. So that means like jumping more into oil painting or Posca pens, stuff like that. And my drawings in general. I want to draw things that scare me and pull me out of my comfort zone, such as anatomy. But I also want to delve deeper into projects that I'm really passionate about, such as drawing plants. I really just want to go deeper with that and work on a couple other projects that I've had on my list for a while. So I'm really excited. I'm really glad that I just jumped into the year with trying Posca pens and I feel like it has made me a lot more inspired and ready to tackle other things. So if you feel like you're in a rut, maybe get a new art supply. Maybe that'll help you feel really inspired and you'll like it and make more stuff. Here this project is done. Let's look at more things, okay? 
Hey guys, it is about three days later and I have still been playing with these Posca pens. Loving it. I decorated a package for my mom that I sent her. After I finished this piece, I did a couple other ones, so let me show you. Okay, so after the video, I also did this piece, and I just thought it was fun to use a bunch of bold colors that I normally wouldn't use, so that's what this one is. And I go out of order in my sketchbook because I know you guys have seen this one in a previous video, but anyway. I also did this really fun illustration of JC Marie Smith. She is one of my favorite YouTubers. She's like really good friends with Aspen and Parker, who I also really like. She was wearing this cute coat in her Instagram story the other day, and I was like, oh my goodness, gotta do this. Her clothing is watercolor, and then the background is Posca pen. Not as exciting, but I was still excited about it. I love these for backgrounds. I think it's great. I just wanted to show you those real quick. Thumbs up to the Posca pens. I'm, I'm enjoying them. You'll probably see more of those from me. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.